Imagine, if you will, a young Huck. The year 1978. He couldn't wait to see this glorious film called Superman the Movie. Being a big Superman fan, he was extremely excited. But then something happened that got him even more excited. While standing in line, an employee was walking down the line handing out movie programs. What are these things, he thought. I don't know, but it's got Superman on the front. And it was Superman. He didn't know who Christopher Reeve was at the time. So it was Superman. And this holy grail of a movie program that he was holding in his hand began his lifelong love for collecting movie programs. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy this new series as I show off my movie programs starting with Superman the Movie. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. Uh, this is exciting for me to share with you. These these have been sitting in my garage for way too long, and I dug the box back out, and it's just filled with glorious motion picture goodness. And uh, the first one I'm going to show off today was the first one I ever got, and uh, I couldn't be more excited to share this with you. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit like and subscribe down there. That would mean a lot to me, uh, and do wonders for my channel. So. For doing that, let me show you. It's even in a, in a wrapper, y'all, to keep it safe. Here she is, Superman the movie. Let me just, I'm gonna just take it out. I'm not leaving it in here. But you guys are gonna, you gotta show, show it off in all of its glory. I just wanted to show you how serious I, I was about Superman the movie, that I gotta keep it in a, in a magazine wrapper. But look at this thing. So when I was uh, in line at the theater, they handed this out. Superman the movie. And there's the back. And I was so excited to see this film. I mean, look at Chris. Chris Reeve, I mean, he literally looks like Superman. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. And that is one of my all-time favorite shots of Chris as Superman. It's, it's iconic. It's legendary. Uh, so yeah, let me just show you what we got here. So we're going to try to open this up and show you. I got to peek around the corner. But uh, on this side, you got a credit list. And then over here, you know, you got the stars, the two main stars that they tried to help sell the movie with. So you got Marlon Brando there and Gene Hackman right down there. And it gives you a, like a little bio breakdown. So for Marlon Brando, it says, Marlon Brando is Jor-El, Superman's father and the leading scientist of the planet Krypton. And Gene Hackman says, Gene Hackman is Lex Luthor, Superman's evil nemesis. And then it gives you a nice look, like a quick little bio of each actor. And then, in a full page spread, bam, right there, Chris Reeve gets his own piece right there. And then a lot of the supporting actors over here. I'm trying to reduce the glare for you guys, there we go. So with Superman, it's like Christopher Reeve is Superman and Clark Kent. And then off to the right of that, we've got the uh, five actors here. Margot Kidder, who played Lois Lane, Glenn Ford, who played Jonathan Kent, Ned Beatty as Otis, Trevor Howard was one of the um, council members, one of the first elders on Krypton, and Jackie Cooper, who played Perry White. So one more time, there's that. There's those guys right here. And there's Chris looking absolutely boss as Superman in that shot. That, of course, if you're familiar with that shot, it's as he's approaching Gene Hackman's lair. And then it continues to go on with uh, cast and crew bios here. I mean, and this is what started it all, y'all. I mean, you know, you look at something like this, and I'm just a kid, right? So, like, you're thinking, D does having a, a cast list appeal to kids? Is having telling you who the producers and the directors were? Is that gonna? Yes, it did. I mean, I, I sat and read this entire thing while sitting in my seat waiting for Superman to uh, start. Ended up seeing that movie seven and a half times in the theater. Uh, the half time was because I had two tickets that day to see Superman the movie and then Rocky II. But because Rocky was going to take a while, I asked the people in the theater, can I just hang out in Superman until Rocky starts? And they said yes. So um, I, I watched it up until he became Superman. And that was tough because then I had to get up and leave to go see Rocky II, which was also a fantastic film. Um, but yeah, so on, on these two pages... It finishes out the cast list on the left with Valley Perrine. Uh, she played Eve Tashmaka, 
Uh, Maria Schell was one of the scientists on the planet Krypton. Terrence Stamp as Neil before Zod. Classic. Uh, Felix Taxter was his mom on Earth, and Susanna York was his mom on Krypton. And then you've got all the... Uh, the, the, the crew people that made it happen, starting with the Salkinds, Ilya and Alexander. Uh, Pierre Spangler was one of the producers. And of course, the late, great Richard Donner, who helmed this entire monster of a masterpiece that he swore that the word for this film was a verisimilitude, which means honesty and integrity. And that's how he approached Superman, honestly. Like, we're going to approach Superman as though he exists. And that's how Chris played it. It's funny because if you watch Chris, he's he's so real as Clark and uh, Superman, but then a lot of the other people are the ones who are, are a bit campy. Like Lex is a little over the top, but still fiendishly gifted, still keeps it in there. But Ned Beatty's super over the top, you know. But Chris is absolutely the most grounded performer in that film. In my him and Glenn Ford, the place is uh, dad, and of course you know, <laughs> Marlon Brando just chews up every scene he's in. Uh, but yeah, and then you got John Williams, of course. John Williams, oh, the great composer John Williams, who did a masterful job composing Superman the movie. Uh, there he is, right down there. I don't know if you can see it. I know I don't know if these are coming through, but uh, yeah. So he just did a phenomenal job on the score. It is probably my favorite soundtrack next to Star Wars. I, I put them side by side because uh, they're just so good. Then you got the production designers, uh, cinematographer Jeffrey Unsworth, and then it gets into stills of the movie, and this is when I got super excited. So there you are. You got the. Speaking of um, Marlon Brando, there he is as, as Jor-el, and there's the little baby Kal-el in his spaceship. You know, before they send him off to Earth. <sighs> and then one of the greatest photos of all time. Look at this, people! Right in the in the center of this book is Chris as Superman. Look how amazing, just amazing, it's so good. I'm telling you, I just stared at this photo. It's like no wires on him, and he's, he's, he's picture perfect in his pose. So good. And then launch through time and space. Now here he is, after he gets launched, there's his little spacecraft, and then it lands. And it's funny because in this shot, this is the TV shot, because they, they put the cape around his, around his ding dong, because in the movie, he was all super willy right there. What am I talking about? All right, so here we are, uh, little baby Kal-El picking up that car. I mean, how great was that moment when when the jack slips on the car and it, and it almost falls on um, Pa Kent right there, and all of a sudden it stops just before hitting him and it slowly raises up and it's creaking, you know, because it's such an old truck. And you look and here's this kid with a big smile on his face just holding up the truck. I'm like, oh my god, it's baby Superman, so good. Uh, and then the next page, here we go with some. When the escapades of Superman begin, this is when he saves the train and, you know, transforms into Superman. Yeah, like right there. It's when he's heading towards the uh, the revolving door and he turns into Superman. Lex Luthor holding up the newspaper, him with the Lois, him in the uh, Fortress of Solitude. And then on the back, you got a little uh, about the production. So there's one of the publicity stills for Superman that Chris posed with um, out, it, I believe it was Manhattan. He was standing on a, a rooftop and he did all these classic poses up there. The one where he's pointing up into the sky. We've seen that a lot and, and this one here. And the, and so this is just a little, a little brief breakdown of, of how the film was made and who they hired and all that amazing stuff. And then it ends on the back with the silver S. I just loved that treatment of the name. So the name is like all silver and the S is all silver because in the comics it's usually like a red lettering with blue backdrop or something like that or yellow. So to see it done in like glass, you know, and have that classic Superman 3D, you know, pull from behind. Man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Young Hook loves the hell out of this movie, man. It's one of my favorite films of all time. And uh, this program is what started it, it off. I mean, programs like this, lobby cards for like Star Wars, collectibles like that, and movie posters just kept me so immersed in the world of film. And I couldn't wait to show this to you guys. Uh, I hope it came across nicely on, on camera here, what what this thing of beauty looks like. Uh, it's It's got a few, you know, bins in it from, you know, being toted around for <laughs> how many years 
has Superman been out? But absolutely one of my favorite films of all time. I just want to start showing off some of these programs. I have a ton more that I'm going to start showing off to you guys, but absolutely the one that had to kick it off is Superman the movie. So guys, that is it. That is that is my showing off and, and memory lane of procuring Superman the movie um, uh, program. Uh, a lot of the other programs uh, I, I've gotten either at the theater or just in in uh, post, you know, after after the fact. We have a whole bunch of movie collectible stores out here in LA, so I love going through those and sifting through all the, the gold that was in those boxes, and many of them were more movie programs that I'll be showing off to you. So, But for the time being, that is going to do it. That is number one, Superman the movie, the motion picture program highly collectible love this thing uh guys if you enjoyed this video please do me a favor and hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell i'd greatly appreciate that so until next time check you later